This is Ted Wynn from The Athletic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we'll break down five plays from Raiders rookie linebacker Divine Diablo. The Raiders got molly whopped by the Kansas City Chiefs last week. But a bright spot in that game was the play of Divine Diablo, who is pressed into action because of uh, Denzel Perriman's injury. But I thought he made some plays. You could see his traits kind of translate. Uh, he wasn't perfect. I thought he was a little slow processing inside runs sometimes. Uh, but the, the traits flashed, and um, I, I thought he had a pretty good game overall. So let's break down these five plays. First snap we're going to look at from Diablo. He's going to be playing cover three Mabel. And what cover three Mabel is, it's basically a cover three variant in which the strong side of the coverage, this side over here, the three receiver side, is going to play regular cover three zone. And on the weak side, they're going to play man-to-man. -man. So this corner is man-to-man -man on this receiver. That's Trayvon Mullen. And sometimes this weak safety, um, this is Abram. He'll, he'll have this running back man-to-man, -man, or he'll play kind of a zone principle. Uh, but right now, we're going to focus on Diablo. He's going to play the weak zone, and the weak hook zone. And what a lot of offenses like to do against this coverage is they like to send either their number three receiver who usually is a tight end or their slot receiver into this weak zone area with a crosser because they want to get a linebacker matched up on a receiver and that you know oftentimes when they play this coverage you see Corey Littleton matched up on a receiver and the people wonder why that's happening he's not really man-to-man -man with that um, receiver or tight end he, he's just playing his zone and he has to match onto that receiver or tight end, but he's playing with heavy inside leverage and he, he should have a safety over the top of him. So it's not really man to man. So sometimes people trip out when they see this coverage, but if you play it correctly, um, you should be able to get decent coverage on that receiver or tight end. Uh, but I, you know, I will admit that it takes some athleticism to do, you know, guys like Bobby Wagner or Fred Warner are really good at it, but they're hard to find. Um, Diablo does a really nice job here. They usually play with a robot technique, which means roll over your shoulder, which he does. He rolls over his inside shoulder here. Sometimes they'll roll over their outside shoulder if they're falling for play action. But he rolls for over his inside shoulder, anticipates where that receiver is. That's Byron Pringle. And sometimes where you get in trouble is when you, you underestimate the speed of the receiver or, or the crosser and you end up going behind him. But Diablo does a nice job of rolling over his shoulder, flipping his hips, and getting in front of the receiver to cut him off. Unfortunately, on the same play, Trayvon Mullen gets beat on a double move. He's just working his way back from injury, and they get beat for a big play. But that's a nice, good job in coverage by Diablo. And Next, we're going to look at a couple of cover snaps against Travis Kelsey. And that's what you want to see from a guy that used to be a safety. He's converted to linebacker. You want him to be able to cover tight ends. And he, d he did have a few nice coverage snaps in man-to-man -man coverage against Kelsey. Here, Kelsey motions across formation, so Diablo has to pick him up in man coverage. He's going to run a speed out. I like the patience on the pedal. Doesn't panic. Eyes on the hips. Slow pedals out. Doesn't go too far. He's in position to break on that out. And nice explosion to get on his hip. So let's watch in full speed. See that explosion. Recovers. Get on the hip. And I like that he stays on Kelsey here because we're, you know, the Chiefs make a lot of their big plays is when Mahomes gets out the pocket. So he doesn't fall asleep, stays on Kelsey, stays on his hip, doesn't look back at the quarterback. Good discipline, good coverage. Let's look at Diablo in run defense. I thought there were times where he either played a tick slow, processing the run, or he was playing a little too fast. And this is an example of him uh, being a little over anxious. First, Travis Kelsey motions across formation. Diablo should know that he needs to bump over a gap here. You can see Littleton bumping over and Abram desperately trying to get his attention. And he does finally bump over to that weak side B gap. So he has that weak side B gap. And the the... Chiefs are going to run some sort of lead concept or zone insert concept with that uh, tight end folding and leading up to Corey Littleton. So let's look at Diablo. Diablo has that B gap, as we said. 
he doesn't have to trigger to that B gap as quickly as he does here because that takes him out of position to make a play on the running back. So when his B gap isn't threatened, he doesn't have to come up to his B gap right away. Littleton stalemates the lead blocker here. You can see Nate Hobbs does a good job of filling in and uh, forcing the the uh, Daryl Williams outside. Uh, so Diablo, he goes to the B gap a little too quickly. He should be if he played this patiently. He would be right here to make a tackle at the line of scrimmage or behind the line of scrimmage. But I like his athleticism. There's not a lot of guys that are... This is slow motion, but there's not a lot of guys that is, are able to flip their hips and still get down the line and make a tackle for a, a decent gain. At least it's not an explosive play. I think this ends up being a five-yard gain. But just playing, playing a little too fast, but you like the athleticism to be able to close that space and make a tackle. We're going to look at another run defense play. This time, the Chiefs are going to try to run a perimeter run. They're going to try to run a jet sweep. But you can see the athleticism here by Diablo to be able to run side to side and make this tackle. So it doesn't look like much of a play. It looks like he's just chasing it down. But, you know, you got to have speed to be able to chase these receivers down. But what I like about this play is he just tr he tracks the inside hip of the receiver. And the receiver tries to cut back but he's in good position by tracking the inside hip. He's able to slow down as the receiver slows down, and then boom, gets on the inside hip. Perfect leverage because Abram does a good job of containing and filling, and then Diablo gets on that inside hip. You want to see him get a little lower on this tackle. I noticed on some of his tackles he's way too high, but at least he's wrapping up and he's in the right position playing with the correct leverage. We're looking at another coverage snap with Diablo matched up on Kelsey. So after Hill motions, everybody's going to bump over a man. Diablo's going to match up on Kelsey again in a slot to the weak side. So again, patient, waits for Kelsey to come to him. I don't like the hands on the outside. He actually gets called for holding on this play, but I don't think it's holding because... He does get his hands on the outside, and the back judge calls this because, you know, all the back judge sees is um, arms outside. But he doesn't restrict Kelsey's movement. Kelsey runs into him, and I like that he's able to affect this route. But he's not restricting Kelsey's movement. When Kelsey pulls away, arms out, there's no restriction. He's Kelsey's just running into him because he's holding his position, makes his route tough. He's still in position to recover when Kelsey comes back. And again, he plasters onto Kelsey even as he's going across. That's good coverage. That's not holding, in my, in my opinion. But a teaching point, get those hands inside. You don't need those hands outside of them. So we looked at a couple snaps of Diablo in pass coverage. We looked at a couple snaps of him in run defense. Let's look at how he plays in open field and how he's able to track and tackle an open field. Uh, so the Raiders are in cover three. You can see Tyreek Hill motioning across the formation. Diablo is playing the weak hook zone again. Um, Abram is playing that flat area, but because Hill is running a wheel, he has to carry that wheel to a certain point to help out his corner uh, because there's, a, there's another receiver running deep into that corner zone. And if... Abram doesn't carry him to a certain point. That that would be just too much space for that corner to cover. So with him vacating the flat, even though the flat isn't Diablo's zone, he has to react to that throw in the flat and tackle. So Patrick Mahomes makes a really nice read here because you know he sees Abram carry that wheel and he goes to the flat right away. Um, and technically, that, that is the correct play. That is a good throw. That should get a lot more yards, but watch the play Diablo makes here. Try, he closes the space in a hurry, breaks down, tracks inside hip, makes a really nice open field tackle, and what looks like should be a you know maybe a seven to ten yard gain ends up being a three yard gain. So that's athleticism and control. 
he's not running out of control there and, and missing that tackle. That's that's a beautiful play from a rookie. Exactly what you want to see from an athletic linebacker in this system. Again, the tackle is a little too high. Um, I would like to see him lower his shoulder a little bit more. Uh, but overall, you know, we're seeing the athleticism and the traits translate for Diablo. Uh, you want to see his processing get a little better, especially against a run uh, inside. But I like that he's physical. I like that he has closing speed. He has recovery speed. You see a lot of potential from him as a coverage linebacker. So, so far, so good from Diablo. And uh, he'll have a couple games to put some good film together, hopefully. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and we'll have a lot more uh, Raider, Niner, NFL content coming out um, in the last few weeks here and, and in the playoffs.